When you want to be in full control during your photographic process, you need to be behind the camera. As you step in front, you lose some control, if only ever so slightly. Salaman's work cannot be classified as traditional self-portraits. As far as known, they are not intended as such, and they are not of her individual form. But when we talk about self-representation, most likely in the conscious form, but at least in the unconscious. That her work says something about her is obvious as they contain her life, the place she lives, and her family. Sally Mann has lots of different types of work, not all containing a family. But for clarification, for this we are mainly focusing on her book Immediate Family. Her work contains what is most precious to her. Sally Mann focuses on every picture she takes, and it is more than possible that she is very conscious on how her work represents herself in a more untraditional way of the self-portrait. Sally Mann's photography is not self-portraits, but they do reveal a lot about her life and photography. One of the things my career as an artist might say to young artists is, the things that are close to you are the things that you can photograph the best. And unless you photograph what you love, you're not going to make good art. Sally Mann